All right, so tonight we're going to talk about um, soil conservation, and we know soil is made from um, the breaking down of rocks, so weathering, um, and we know weathering can make sediments or soil. Um, so we're going to talk about soil because it's very um, nutritious for our plants, and we need it for things to grow, so it is um, very important for us to save uh, what we have. So um, it says, over to the side, mature soil takes thousands of years to form, so it needs to be protected. So even though weathering happens every day all the time, um, it takes a long time for soil to um, be made. Um, human activity that can um, increase erosion, um, which would cause us to not have um, as much soil as we need, would be logging, mining, construction, and farming. So all four of those things. Um, the first one is logging. Uh, trees are cut down to build homes, furniture, and to make paper. Um, so this would cause us to not have that soil anymore because it would erode and uh, break down and move other places so it's not in a concentrated area for us to use. Also clear cutting, all the trees cut down in a large area. Um, roots decay and there's nothing to hold the soil so it washes away. Um, number two is mining uh, to get natural resources like minerals, which um, we do try and do. But of course, it's um, cut back a lot um, from when we first started to get minerals and things like that a long time ago. Um, but we still do it, um, even though we have those acts to kind of reform the land. Um, it still happens. Um, erosion of soil actually speeds up because of this mining. Um, and mining companies, um, of course, must reclaim the area when they're done. We learned about that um, a couple units back. But, um, of course, it still causes soil, especially when they're in the middle of mining um, and they haven't reclaimed that land yet. Uh, the third one is construction. So building roads, buildings, and communities will um, cause the soil to erode away. Um, if plants are removed, uh, erosion speeds up. So um, building uh, plants and, and planting plants and things like that will, of course, uh, help this to not speed up and it'll slow it down. But, um, you know, we are a growing population, so construction is inevitable and it'll happen. Um, but it causes our soil to, you know, wash away, which is not a good thing. Um, number four is over farming. So a lot of people um, are using more land than they really need to um, or other land is you know, kind of bad already, or it doesn't have the soil that it needs, so they go somewhere else, um, and then don't ca don't take care of the new land. So um, over farming definitely um, creates a problem for soil conservation. Um, now, something that happened because of poor farming practices um, actually happened over here, um, and this is Colorado, Kansas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas. And you probably learned about this previously, but it is called the Dust Bowl. Um, it happened in 1930 to 1937 in um, all those areas. It began as a se um, severe drought and very poor farming. Um, so what happened was there wasn't anything to hold down that dust. Um, there was no soil, there was no plants, no nothing. So um, this huge windstorm came and it caused all that dust to kind of kick up and um, it created a lot of problems for that area, and um, they didn't have very good farming for a long time. I don't think they actually have really recovered from it. Um, so that land is really not uh, useful to them anymore because of what they did and not reclaiming the land and um, not preventing erosion. So that was not good. Um, a couple of review things. Uh, weathering, we know, is the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces. Erosion moves that sediment or soil. Um, and we don't want the soil to move, so what do we do? Um, we could reduce the soil erosion by um, planting more plants, um, which we would call windbreakers. It slows down the wind water erosion um, and to hold the soil in. Contour plowing, terracing, no-till farming, um, and cover crops. So we'll learn about this in detail in a little bit. Um, and crop rotation, so not planting the same thing over and over again because um, it's going to create holes and things like that in the same places. We always want to, you know, rotate it. So sometimes you'll see um, some corn being planted and then some cotton being planted and they'll um, do it in rows and then they'll do it in a different row. So vertical, then horizontal and things like that to make sure that that soil is staying in place and it's not um, susceptible to oil or, or I'm sorry, soil erosion. Uh, the first one is windbreakers. So this slows down the wind, and this will be um, 
like you can see right here, these plants are being grown right here. So that way, if the wind blows, it's going to be stopped right there. Um, same thing right here. So it's actually something that's put right in the middle, um, and then it creates it to, you know, not go any further. Contour plowing slows down water erosion for gentle hills. So this is going down a hill. It kind of looks like steps. Um, so it'll kind of come down and then down and then down. And of course, um, the same amount of water is not going to come down. It's going to decrease less and less because it's going to get stopped by that. Um, those plants that are being right there. Um, terracing um, is actually a step. So this contour plowing comes up like this. And this one comes down like this. So it will create a um, step like that. Um, these are for steep hills, by the way. And then contour plowing is for gentle hills. So if you have a steep slope in your backyard, um, sometimes you'll see some of this. So that way you won't get that um, huge puddle at the front of your door um, because it uh, you know, rained really hard last night or something like that. Um, No-till farming. So leaving old stalks, roots, um, to slow down the runoff. So you wouldn't plow in between harvest and um, replanting time. You would just leave what was there because, of course, it's fertilizer. It's dead plants, and all that um, nutrition is going to go back into the soil. Um, so it really needs it anyway. But because there's things in the way, um, you know, if it rains or wind comes or things like that, it's not going to blow everything away because all of that is kind of patting all of that nutrition down. So um, it's important for farmers to just kind of leave it, which is, you know, easier for them in the long run. Um, crop cover, so planting in between harvest to restore nutrients and prevent wind water erosion. So um, farmers know that in between harvest time, um, they have to plant something else to keep that soil down because if they don't plant anything, it's just going to be completely bare. Um, and if wind comes, it's, you know, all that nutrition is gone. So they always have to be planting something. Um, crop rotation. Um, so this is a plan over to the right that a uh, farmer can use where they plant different crops each year. So they might have carrots and they might have corn, then they might have goose foot. Don't ask me what that is. Um, but onions and squashes and sunflowers and um, this is broccoli. Um, green beans, nightshades, and then back around. So each year they'll have something different, so and um, it'll replenish that nutrients in the soil. All right, so which human activity can help prevent soil erosion? So think about that. It's not going to be B, not going to be C, and it's not going to be D. Um, planting cover crops and employing uh, contour plowing methods. So that would prevent soil erosion. Make sure you know the difference between all those. Um, I know some of them are kind of confusing, so make sure that you write down any questions that you have. And of course, you have your notes filled out ready for me to look at tomorrow. Um, and I hope you have a great evening.